Welcome to graphing quadratic functions in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This is standard form of a quadratic function. When we're graphing standard form of the quadratic function, we have three very important things to look for. First, we want to find the axis of symmetry of the function. The vertex will lie on the axis of symmetry. And then we have the y-intercept which is always the value 0, c, c can be found right here. So this c tells us the y-intercept. We know that the parabola will open up when a is greater than 0, and we know that the parabola opens down when a is less than 0. The y-intercept is this value of c, and the x-coordinate of the vertex is found using the formula negative b divided by 2a. Therefore, we know the axis of symmetry is the line x equals negative b divided by 2a. We get b for this formula from the coefficient of x, and we get a from the coefficient of x squared. Let's try an example. So we're going to find the axis of symmetry in the vertex for this function f, 2x squared plus 8x plus 3. Finding the axis of symmetry we use the formula x equals negative b divided by 2a. b is 8, a is 2. So let's substitute those values into our formula, evaluate, and we get that x is equal to negative 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and we have this negative sign. So we know that the axis of symmetry is the line x equals negative 2 to this function. We're going to use that result now to find the vertex. The vertex lies on this axis of symmetry, so we know that the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 2. We are going to go back and evaluate this function for an x-value of 2 to get the output or the y-coordinate of that vertex. So when we put in negative 2, 2 times negative 2 squared plus 8 times negative 2 plus 3, so I'm replacing x with negative 2 to evaluate this function of an input of negative 2. The output will be negative 5. Negative 2 squared is 4. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. And then add 3. So we know that our vertex is the ordered pair negative 2, negative 5. And the axis of symmetry is the line x equals negative 2. The vertex will lie on this axis of symmetry. I'd like you to find the axis of symmetry and the ver vertex for each of the functions. And pause the video and come back when you're ready to check your answers. So we have this function r. We're going to evaluate using the function, the formula negative b divided by 2a for this function r. We know that b has a value of negative 3 and a has a value of 4. You plug it in and evaluate, you get that the axis of symmetry is the line x equals 3 eighths. Now to find the vertex, we're going to use this x value and evaluate this function for an input of 3 eighths. We square 3 eighths and multiply, get a common denominator, subtract, and we see that the vertex is 3 eighths, negative 27 30 seconds. Number two, go ahead and find the value of the vertex and the axis of symmetry. Pause this video and come back and hit play when you're ready to see the results. For the finding the axis of the symmetry, we plug in the B value of 4, the A value of 1 for an axis of symmetry of x equals negative 2. Now we're going to evaluate the function for an input of negative 2 and we get a vertex of negative 2, 3. Okay, last one, your turn. Go ahead and find the axis of symmetry in the vertex. Hit pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your answer. Finding the axis of symmetry, we're going to use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. b is equal to positive 8. A is equal to negative one-fourth. Plug it in, 
and evaluate, you get the axis of symmetry is aligned x equals 16. To find the vertex, we're going to evaluate the function for an x value of 16. Evaluate, and we get that the vertex is the ordered pair 16, 59. Okay, let's go over graphing a quadratic function in standard form. First, you're going to find and graph the axis of symmetry. Step two, find and plot the vertex. Step three, use the y-intercept to plot two additional points. Step four, you'll draw a smooth curve through the points. Let's go ahead and try an example. We're going to graph f of x equals 3x squared subtract 6x plus 5. Step one, we're going to find and graph the axis of symmetry. So using the formula x equals negative b over 2a, I plug in a value for b of negative 6 and a value of a of positive 3, and I get that the axis of symmetry is a line x equals 1. So here's a graph of the line x equals negative 1. Traditionally, the axis of symmetry is a dashed line. Step two, now let's find and plot the vertex. So we're going to go ahead and evaluate this function for an input of one that I got from my axis of symmetry to find the vertex. When I do that, I find out that the output would be two, so my vertex would be one, two. I go ahead and plot that on my graph, so it lands on my axis of symmetry. There's my vertex and my axis of symmetry. Step three, we're going to use the y-intercept to plot the two additional points. So we know that the y-intercept is 5, the value of c. So we go ahead and plot that. Because we know a parabola is symmetrical about the axis of symmetry, this is 1 away. The y-intercept is a distance of 1 from the axis of symmetry. Therefore, we know we can reflect this point over the axis of symmetry and get a second point. Step 4, we're going to draw a smooth curve through these points to have our parabola graphed. So we have our axis of symmetry, our vertex that falls on our axis of symmetry, our y-intercept, and we've reflected that point over the axis of symmetry to get a second point. You could also make a table of values, but that would be a lot less precise. Let's talk about domain and range of our function that we just graphed. The domain of this function is all real numbers. You could have any x value as an input and get an output. The range is all real numbers such that y is greater than or equal to negative, uh, positive 2, sorry. 2 is the lowest y value that you can get. All outputs will be 2 or greater. There are no values for y that make this function true that are less than 2. We also would call this our minimum value of our function. 2 is the minimum value of this function. Okay, your turn. Here's a function. I would like you to graph it and then describe the domain and range. Pause this video, come back and hit play when you are ready to check your answer. Step one, find and graph the axis of symmetry. So we evaluate x equals negative b over 2a for a b value of 4 and an a value of negative 2, getting an axis of symmetry of x equals 1. Step two, find and plot the vertex. So go ahead and you put your axis of symmetry in for x to find the output, which will be 1 in this case. So our vertex is 1, 1. Step 